most looking at infrared. It's anything that is warm, like the Earth and the Moon and the Sun, is infrared radiation. And so the past has this gigantic sun shield built into the tennis court, and that sun shield is always able to sit between the telescope and the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun, because they are always on there. The inside of the sun shield, as it were, and the telescope is on the outside looking out at the cosmos. Mm, yes, yes. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for trying to explain it to us. <laughs> but in terms of this particular James Webb uh, Space Telescope, I mean, um, uh, you know, many of us are from the era we've heard about the Hubble Telescope. So can we just do a, a very, you know, small, like, uh, you know, comparison? What's to differentiate the two telescopes? Yeah, absolutely. So the Hubble telescope uh, is much, much, much smaller. The Hubble mm. telescope has a um, primary mirror is two and a half meters across. The, um, the Webb telescope top mirror is six and a half meters across. And so the collecting area is about uh, six times greater. So it collects a tremendous amount more light, but it's a much fainter object. Mm. Uh, that's one difference. The other difference is that its angular resolution is much better, so the images are actually much sharper, so it can see finer details.